Nice to see you again. So we see you again in May this year, uh, 2023. So a quick look on uh, Smart TV and uh, then uh, what are the changes and uh, improvements. So Android TV uh, looks uh, this way, uh, then uh, Android TV in uh, other entry products uh, uh, in countries where Discover app is supported looks uh, this way. Uh, then Google TV, uh, which is uh, where uh, fully uh, Google TV is supported. There are some countries in Europe, but in other countries, especially in Central Europe, we have a basic mode of uh, Google TV. And uh, then how it is supported and where you see here that uh, there are countries with full support, uh, Google TV Lite, so still it is quite similar to full, but is uh, missing uh, some areas. And uh, then uh, the last one is uh, basic. Google TV is improving and there are a lot of changes uh, which are coming. Uh, you have user profiles, uh, you have also home screen updates, uh, you have uh, also uh, apps only updates, so this is, this is being rolled out uh, right now uh, for, by Google. And then in US there are also 800 fast channels. The fast is uh, free advertising supported TV, so like Pluto. So you, some of you were thinking what is the business model behind Pluto. Uh, but the business model behind uh, Pluto is uh, uh, advertising, that you watch advertising and by watching advertising you pay for uh, delivery of the content and licensing of uh, the content. Then uh, content in general as we talk is driving uh, products and performance and also this content is uh, available uh, in Google TV, so if you compare it uh, with uh, if you compare it with uh, other um, platforms, uh, uh, so you might not find all the functionalities or all the applications. Uh, but uh, in Google TV, you will always find them. And then even in a few years from now, if you have product which is five years old, you get applications and you get uh, updates. Another thing is screen sharing. Uh, you get absolutely everything in uh, Google TV, starting from AirPlay 2, so all products uh, like uh, uh, this one, uh, C845, C745, uh, Apple AirPlay is available. Chromecast, you know it, is uh, standard functionality. Miracast, so you can wirelessly send uh, your PC screen to the TV set. And uh, then we also provide uh, TCL Home and uh, MultiView for TCL uh, devices. Then in many cases we are limited by the uh, uh, produce, uh, providers of the solution. So in case of AirPlay 2 right now, uh, even if you have iPhone, you cannot play back uh, uh, Dolby Vision uh, 8.4 uh, profile content over AirPlay because it is not supported by AirPlay. It's not the case on our side, it is case on uh, Apple side because they can only carry profile 5 Dolby Vision. Then uh, for Chromecast it is also in many cases limited to 1080p because the content has to be compressed by the device you have and not every device is able to compress uh, UHD content and send it over Wi-Fi. There are also many ways to control uh, today the TV set. So from starting from standard remote control like this one with uh, voice functionality, uh, through Google TV mobile application and virtual remote control, then a TCL home application where you can have all your devices. And uh, then also this AirPlay virtual remote control, so even if you have your iPhone device, you can control TV set. That's all about uh, smart, so let's look about user experience. So uh, a lot of changes uh, we uh, put in place uh, are linked uh, to user experience. You see that uh, uh, source inputs, uh, that uh, quick settings have significantly changed. Uh, you can, in many cases, uh, edit them and add, remove icons uh, you don't need. Uh, then uh, you have also a new game bar I will cover later, later on.
In TV part, we have also a lot of updates uh, in terms of experience, uh, starting from the layout of EPG, the layout of info banner, also how TV acts uh, when you uh, toggle channels and uh, then uh, what is visible in channel list. And for example, here we have also all the streaming uh, applic no, streaming channels, uh, which are also listed uh, in uh, channel list. 